In 2009, TCS China failed to meet growth targets. CEO is facing the problem. Whether the business model is sustainable in China? Don't worry, TCS business model is not the main reason cause the bad performance. Now, let's analyze the origin. Most clients of TCS Shanghai are from America and Europe. TCS Beijing just served the BFSI industry, which is definitely impacted by financial crisis. TCS China didn't make a loss because it served most of the clients from Asia Pacific and served in dispersive industries. Of course, TCS China's business model can become more sustainable. TCS China is a global solution center and it requires high skills, so it comes out the problems. First, we can't seize the Chinese market effectively. Second, our talents cannot catch up with the global standard of TCS. So, we will give the recommendations based on the market and HRM. Services of TCS China cover many industries, including BFSI and manufacture. In those industries, we are facing strong competitors like IBM and Infosys. Compared with them, our workforce goal is obviously smaller. Based on it, we recommend that in the short term, focus on a niche industry segment and supply services. On the rest industries, we just need to maintain the scale of services. After the workforce is expanded, serve all the industries. Now, let's choose an industry segment. In order to evaluate the segment, we set up four criteria. Which are TCS strength on industry segment, market demand, demand growth, and entry barrier? First is TCS strength on each industry segment. TCS revenue by market segment in 2009 shows BFSI is TCS key industry segment, which means TCS has a best performance in supplying services in BFSI industries. TCS is also strong in manufacture and telecom industry. Second criterion is market demand. Chinese IT service outsourcing demand prospect shows the BFSI and manufacturer have the most market demand among all the industries. In 2008, the demand of BFSI and manufacturing industries is already worth 4 billion RMB. Next is telecom and government segment. Demand growth criterion. Telecom and government industry has a huge growth. However, the demand of BFSI industry has a slowest growth. Besides, entry barrier needs to be considered. Enter telecom and government industry needs relationship in China. As a foreign corporation and freshman in China, TCS has a high entry barrier to serve the industries. To summarize, we recommend choosing BFSI industry to launch out our business. However, the demand of BFSI industry is facing a slow growth in the future. Therefore, we have an alternative, focus on manufacturing industries. Based on the two options, we will give two proposals about marketing and HRM. I know GNDM is so gorgeous in global market, but not in China. So we set up the short-term and long-term goals. However, there are many competitors existing in such big markets like IBM and some local companies, Uvidor, Inspired, and the Indian companies. TCS biggest Indian competitors in China are Riprod and Infosys. However, Infosys performs the best among the three. So Infosys is TCS biggest Indian competitor in China. As strategy manager just mentioned that both BFSI and manufacturing are good choices, so let's talk about BFSI first. TCS competitors all have excellent finance services. Uvidor is better at product management software than Insford. Of course, IBM has the most big clients including ICBC and HSBC. But TCS specific finance software BANCS also helps it to gain many honors. And we strongly believe that GNDM is hard for local competitors to imitate, like the global workforce. Although everyone knows it is used for HR, but the specific way of recruiting and training remains unknown to our competitors. As a result, TCS competitors or have strong brand to attract more customers. What's more, they know exactly what Chinese clients need. IBM knows more and more natural disasters happen in China, so we launch out the BCRS to and that helps Agricultural Bank of China to win award. And Uvidor knows to ease customers' investment pressure. It cooperates with ICBC to invest on solutions. So although TCS is a global company, it still should invest more in marketing part to know more about what Chinese clients need and launch out more local and innovative products and services. 
As to the manufacturing industry, TCS competitors all have many excellent services and big clients. What's more, they are quite thoughtful. Like IBM's common automotive manufacturing model, it helps Chinese automotive industry to realize lean production. Since after Toyota scandal, Chinese customers consider more on cost quality. Yufider knows that Chinese people are very worried about the safety of food, so they launch out Yufider T3 to help food companies to monitor the quality of their products. TCS also has its AURA, however, it still needs to combine AURA with Chinese clients needs so as to promote its excellence on ERP and CRM. In conclusion, on finance part, TCS should focus on marketing to promote its BAMCS and GMDM. As to manufacturing part, R&D should cooperate with marketing department. And this is our strategic action plan for BFSI. And this is our strategic plan for manufacturing. After the marketing, how about the HRM? In HRM part, we are working hard to improve the system to support the future development in China. Since this days, China is the second global delivery center and the IT industry is talent intensive, the critical factor should be the human resource. The best employers should perform well in recruitment, salary, career development, performance assessment, and also the corporate culture. From our survey, when salaries in TCS China increased after 2009, it's higher or equal to the competitors except IBM, so salary is not a problem now. However, TCS China still have other problems in HR, and the biggest problem is recruitment and career development, which mainly lead to high star attrition rate, especially key star. And TCA China doesn't perform well in performance assessment and corporate culture because of cross culture between Indian and Chinese. So it should enhance them. Firstly is the recruitment. 71% software engineer in China comes from university and research institutes, and they prefer job hunting website, corporate website, and campus recruitment conferences. However, this year China website doesn't have a career column for applicants to send their resumes by enforcing IBM Health, so we should add it. And attend more campus recruitment conferences and build employment bases to attract more graduates. Since many graduates are lack of experience, we should cooperate with IT training companies. Another important part for recruitment is to hunt for key staff. If we want to emphasize finance industry, we should hunt for outstanding staff from IT department or banks or financial companies to enhance finance software research. If we want to emphasize manufacturing industry, we should hunt 50 key staff from manufacturing companies to trade anything in China. We can hunt for them by our own or head counting companies. We attract 28% employees, one company to offer leadership and training program. So if we want to attract and retain stars, we can help employees decide career paths, hold training classes to develop star knowledge and skills, build tutorial system to help employees and also enhance performance evaluation. To retain key staff, we can hold performance assessment and give enough development space and evaluation to them. To decrease cost culture, we should solve the communication between Indian and Chinese, so we should hold English training and recruit overseas returnees as managers. This is the HR development plan. For the financial part, from our assumptions that focus on BFSI will increase 60% per year, so the revenue will reach 1.2 billion in 2014, and the MPV is about 300 million. And focus on manufacturing will increase 80%. So the revenue is about 550 million in 2014, and the MPV is about 160 million. And this is the details. For TCS China, we can find the gross profit of focus on BFSI is better than the others, and details is followed. Then is the budget of focus on BFSI and manufacturing, and the risk and mitigation. As a whole, BFSI industry has a huge market demand and we have competitive advantage in it. After we manage it, we can gain a 14% gross profit ratio in 5 years. As an alternative, manufacturing industry has a high demand growth. It has 22% gross profit ratio in 5 years. No matter which industry segment we choose and supply services, we can gain a beautiful gross profit through our proposals. Now, let's look forward to TCS China's bright future.